Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if you're getting an issue with your remote desktop connection where he says that an internal error has occurred. So we're going to go in and hopefully be able to address the problem without too much of a hassle here. So we're going to start by opening up the start menu, left one to start button one time. Type in remote desktop connection. Best match to come back with a desktop app. You want to left click on that one time. Click on show options, so expand that. Now you want to left click on the experience tab. Now that you're underneath the experience tab, you want to make sure the box where it says reconnect if connection is dropped is checkmarked in here. So again, make sure it's checkmarked. And then left click on connect. Again, you have to make sure you're actually connected to something here, which we are not but you want to make sure that again that this check mark is filled next to reconnect if connection is dropped. So pretty straightforward on that end and hopefully that would have been able to resolve the problem. Another thing you can try if you're on Windows 7, Windows 8, or Windows 10 or any edition of Windows 10 that's not Windows 10 Home, you want to go ahead and open up the start menu, type in group policy, best match should come back with edit group policy left click on that one time to open up the local group policy editor here now I'm gonna make this window a little wider and I would highly suggest you guys minimize the area for user configuration so if there's a little error next to user configuration here I'd suggest collapsing it so a little arrow just left click on it to collapse it because some of these folders as you can tell are the same name don't want to go underneath the wrong section here so underneath computer configuration, you want to go expand the administrative templates folder. So expand administrative templates. Now you want to do the same thing for Windows components. And now you want to scroll down to remote desktop services. Should be right here. Expand that. And then it should be something that says remote desktop session host. And expand that. And now you want to select the security folder, just left one at one time. Now on the right side there should be something that says require use of specific security layer for remote connections. And we're going to find that right there. Make it a little bit wider for us as well here. Require use of specific security layer for remote. And then parentheses RDP connections. Double click on it or you can left click on policy settings where it says edit just left click on the hyperlink right there it'll take you to the same place you want to go and now that we are in this window here you want to select enabled and security layer you want to click inside this drop down make sure you set it to RDP and then left click on apply and OK once you're done with that you should be able to close out of here but to just restart your computer and hopefully it's been able to resolve your problem. So if you're still having an issue here, we could, after you've restarted your computer, left click on the, type in system. One of the best managers should come back with system right above control panel. You just want to left click on that one time. Now on the left side, you want to left click on where it says advanced system settings. And now you want to left click on the remote tab on the far right side. Now you want to select allow remote connections to this computer. And you want to uncheck where it says allow connections only from computers running remote desktop with network live authentication. And then left click on apply and OK. And that should hopefully be about it. Now you can play around with that if you want to just turn it off after you've done with that. You don't necessarily have to keep it permanently unchecked here so if you're just trying to temporarily try to access something you're more than welcome to however you know you can keep it checkmarked as well as keeping allowed remote connections to this computer you can keep both of these selected potentially however if you want to play around with it and just try unchecking it and then trying to remote access somebody you're welcome to and then I actually would suggest probably recheck marking it once you're done just for security's sake it's probably a little more secure to leave a check marked in there left going apply and OK Restore your computer once again. I think we've gone through three or four different methods, and hopefully one of them was able to resolve your problem. So pretty straightforward tutorial today, guys. I hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial.
Goodbye.